Hello friends, welcome back to Code Tonight. In today's video, we will see how to use Firebase database in your ASP.NET application. So, what we will do is we will create one Firebase database and then we will try to save data into Firebase database from our ASP.NET web application. Okay. So, uh, first of all, what you will need is you have to create one Firebase account and then you have to create one project there. So after that what you will have, you will have one app key and then you will have one URL of the database. So those will be used while saving the data to the database. Okay. So first of all, we will just create one account. So you can search Firebase Console and there you can uh, click on this Firebase Console and it will use your Gmail account. So you can use that. Okay. Now. Uh, we can just create, click on add project ok so I have already created a few places here so I will not use those I will just use some other gmail so here you have to click on create a project and you can actually give any name here so I will give go tonight and I accept the file page term and I confirm continue now continue accept ok so now it will create your uh, new project here and once you will have your new project here then you will have to just uh, um, create a database in that and that database will be providing the, the key and uh, the URL ok so uh, we will just see the steps ok so it is saying a new project is ready so we will click on continue so now the project is added and we will just uh, click on web here because we want to create one web application and app nickname I will again provide for tonight and I will just click on register app ok so now you can see it has given us the ah, this is not the API key that we will use so we will just click on continue Now we will go to real time database. And you have to click on create database. So it is asking for the time zone. Now we will click next. And you can click on start in text mode and enable. Ok, so this is the URL that uh, I was talking about. So this is the URL that you have to actually copy. So we will just copy the URL and uh, we will just place it inside our notepad. Ok, so now the second thing that we need is uh, we will go to project again and then we will click on Cotonet app that we created. Ok. Now here you have to go to service accounts. In the service account you have to go to database secret. In the database secret we will add, ok we have uh, already the key so we will just uh, copy that key, ok. Now I will also put that on here. Okay. Now, now since we have both of the things and this is the database. Okay. So uh, whenever we will be able to use that in the code, then if you say that in data there, then the data data will be reflected over here. Okay. So now we will go to the code part. 
so in the code part now we will see uh, what we have to do so in the code part we we have first replace the new credentials okay so i will again copy them and uh, i will place them here so we will place the url now the slash and the end at the end is the main important part without that it will not work okay so now the second thing that we need to copy is the key okay so we have replaced the key now since we have replaced the key and the page path now we can check the other code okay so we are using firebase client here now firebase client is a, a third party library from fireshark okay so you have to go to nugget packages and install fireshark in the project and after you have done installing that then you can use the firebase config and firebase client now firebase config will require the secret and the base path and then we will pass it to the firebase client and then we will create one object that we want to store on the firebase and we will push the data okay so now this is the location or you can say folder structure that will be created uh, where the data will be stored in the firebase database okay so we will just run the application so we can see there is no data currently here and we have just learned the application now Okay, so now our code will go to debugger and we will see how it is actually working. Uh, and about the code, you can you will get this code uh, link in the description of the video. So you can copy all the code from there and uh, then you can try and let us know if that works for you. So now code is here and we will just uh, see that we have created the config here and we are just uh, creating the data you can see name equal to test and random while number okay so now we are pushing the data to the client and in the response you can see result uh, over here http response null and status result okay okay so now we will just see uh, we will go to the database and you can see here we have new element created doc which is the location that we provided and the data is here okay so this is the same data that we have passed from the uh, code and so this is how you can actually store data in the firebase and this is how you can do it using dsp.net okay so if you have any kind of issue with this then you can comment on the video and we will actually provide you the code so don't you worry about that so thanks for watching guys and, uh, and don't forget to uh, let us know the feedback so, thanks for watching